What is up everyone, Starzard here coming at you with another review. In today's review we're going to be covering a game from Image and Form. Does that name sound familiar? It might. They are the creators of the Steam series, so SteamWorld Dig, SteamWorld Dig 2, SteamWorld Highest, all of those SteamWorld ones. But this is not a Steam game. This game is Ant Hill and it is on the Nintendo Switch. Ant Hill is essentially a tower defense game where you control an ant colony as you rick your way through levels and survive waves upon waves of enemies all while controlling where these ants go and what they do via touchscreen. Yes, the game is completely touchscreen. You use the Switch gamepad to play. You cannot use Joy-Cons, you cannot use Pro Control, you cannot put it on your big screen TV. It is all handheld. And that's probably because the game was originally released on iOS, but that really isn't a bad thing. The game works very well. Before we start talking more about the game, I just want to thank Thunderful Publishing AB for sending me a code. Thank you so much. This is the game I had my eye on. I was really looking forward to playing with it and it's very fortunate that I got a code so I'm able to review this game for everyone. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into the review. In Ant Hill and Saint Saints, there are six different worlds with about seven to eight different levels on each world. There isn't a story per se, but as you go through the game, you can definitely tell you're progressing towards something. Heck, the last two levels are named Long Road Part 1 and Long Road Part 2. With no story, the game doesn't really suffer. It's essentially a tower defense game. You don't really need a story. In each level, you'll work to survive a number of waves of enemy ants. To achieve victory in each level, you have to be able to control your ants and make them as efficient as possible. In this game, there are four different types of ants that you can control. Worker ants are your most important ants as you will be guiding them towards bug carcasses, food, and other resources. Food is your currency and this allows you to buy other bugs. And having a lot of food will make it so you have a lot of ants. Having a lot of ants will be your key to surviving waves and beating the level. Soldier ants are your frontline defense force. They home in on any enemy that gets near them. So they are very important. And when you get them upgraded later on, they are a force to be reckoned with. Spitter ants attack at a range by spitting their ooze. And they can also occupy foxholes, which will make them very hard to kill. They're also the only ants you can use to take down enemy bugs that fly around. And those flying bugs can definitely be a pain in the ass. So be sure to spawn some spitters to take care of those. Then you have bomber ants. Bomber ants fly out and drop bombs on enemy bugs. They are super susceptible to enemy artillery so you gotta be careful so any enemy bug that shoots is definitely gonna be a problem for your bomber ants. Controlling all the ants with the touch screen is very easy it's very simple to do the only issue you run into is when you have a bunch of ants deployed when you have a bunch of lines on the screen it can get pretty messy and it is kind of hard to decipher what the heck is going on but if you do end up having a lot of lines on screen and a lot of ants out you're probably doing a good job so it evens out, I guess, but it can get a little messy. In each level, you can acquire a score. Acquiring food, killing enemies, and finding and bringing back gems to the colony increases your score. Each stage has a set of scores that you can reach. For each score that you hit, you actually gain a star for that score. So for just completing the level, you gain one star. This may not seem important, but getting high scores is actually very vital to survival, and especially the later levels. You really need those scores because they unlock those stars and stars are actually used to upgrade your ants. And if you find yourself needing more stars to upgrade your ants, you can actually go back and do other levels to do so. Some of these upgrades for ants include making worker ants faster and stronger. Soldier ants actually can blow up upon death, so they basically become a suicide bomber. Spitter ants can shoot faster, and bomber ants can actually drop nukes, so upgrading them is pretty important. When it comes to how the game looks in soundtrack, the game looks pretty good, it sounds pretty good. For a game that was originally on iOS, I have no complaints. When it comes to gameplay and how long to beat, Ant Hill took me about three to five hours to beat all of the main levels. And it also has an endless mode that you can actually do right away. And after you beat all levels, you actually unlock a second endless mode. And all this does is you take on wave upon wave of enemy bugs to see how long you can survive. So that will add to your gameplay. If you do find yourself liking this game, endless mode is a lot of fun. The game is $9.99 on the Nintendo eShop. For me, I think that's kind of worth it. I really do like strategy games though. That's kind of my fetish. Oh, yeah. I really like the real time strategy games. So tower defense games, uh, like Mario and Rabbids, things like that, that just require some thinking, require some logic is actually a lot of fun for me. So for me, this game is definitely worth it at that price, but I can definitely see it going on sale. And I really do think this game would be more worth it for people in the five to $7 range. At that price, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Now, if I had to give Anhill a reading, it's, it's going to be a lot higher than I originally thought because this game actually really surprised me. I didn't realize I would be so 
addicted to it. Like it was just so much fun to play and I just absolutely enjoyed it. Um, I just like the strategy to it. And if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it an eight. And I think I'm gonna definitely gonna stick with eight. I think it was a very good game and I think it's definitely worth playing. If you guys liked today's review of Ant Hill, Ants Ain't Saints, be sure to check out my other reviews. Be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and let me know down in the comments if you've played this game, if you've played any games like this, or maybe even what other tower defense games you've played that are on the Switch that you could recommend to people. And last but not least, thank you all so much for watching, and have a fantastic day. They are super successful, they are super susceptible to enemy artillery, they are susceptible, they are super susceptible, they are super successful. Success. Success. They are super susceptible. Susceptible.